Our reporter Ben Bland is there now. Ben. Yes, we often hear about the Olympic legacy. This is what it actually looks like. A brand new hall at Huntingdon Gymnastics Club where they are training Cambridge's young gymnasts. These people we may well see performing at an Olympic Games sometime in the future. An impressive display by Cambridge's talented young gymnasts. And they were performing under pressure. In the audience, two world-class gymnasts and a former prime minister gathered to mark the official opening of the new hall at Huntingdon Gymnastics Club. I remember coming into the gym one day and the building had, had started being built, like the groundwork's going on and it was, it was finally happening. And to, to see it go up so quick um, and to see the kids be, you know, using it already, it's, uh, it's fantastic. The Strictly Come Dancing champion performed his Olympic routine on the pommel horse. Lewis still trains here at the gym he's been using since he was six. Away from the acrobatics, Sir John Major, the former Huntingdon MP, did the official honours. Well, I'm absolutely thrilled with what's happening here. I remember opening the original gymnasium uh, 23 years ago, and now the extension and all that's happened in between with uh, Dan Keatings and Lewis Smith, and the tremendous growth of the sport. It's a fantastic spectator sport. It's getting more and more people involved every year. The gym refurbishment has cost almost one and a half million pounds, around half of that spent on building this new hall. Some of the money came from 13-year-old Harry. For a year, he slept in a tent in his garden and raised 10,000 pounds in sponsorship. It's really worth it, as I never thought it'd end up looking like this. It's brilliant. I love it. Um, and what's it like using it? Uh, it's fun. I like a fast trek. That's my favourite bit. Harry hopes that one day he'll perform at the level of world and European medalists like Dan Keatings. You've got the facilities there to make it to the top. Um, obviously, we had, we had the other gym um, and it showed what level we could get to. Um, so with this gym as well, you know, who knows what levels you can get to. You know, the sport improves, so hopefully people coming through the door, the more talent that are coming through, they're going to maybe reach even better levels than what we got to. The club now has 900 members, up from 500 before the London Olympics and they've now got space for even more to join. It means we can all breathe a little bit more easily. We got to a point in the original gym where we were completely saturated with gymnasts and the likes of Lewis Smith were having to do their pommel routines with toddlers running around them as well. Now at least we can actually have a real good general gymnastics program in our new facility whilst nurturing our elite talent in the original facility. While the crowd here enjoyed the elite and group displays, we spotted a possible future medal winner taking the first steps towards competition. Well, it was a day of celebration here today, but they are back at work now, training hard. The classes have started up this evening. Let's speak to one of their coaches, Adam Scott. Adam, what can these groups now do with this hall, this facility, that they couldn't do before? These guys have now got more space to sort of push themselves on a little bit. All these guys were doing sort of one hour a week, two hour a week before we were able to open the centre. We're now able to sort of push them on so they can come in a couple of times a week and just sort of see how far their potential have taken. In the, in times gone by, we've always sort of been cramped into one hole. Now we've got a little bit more space to let more guys have a chance. OK, Adam Scott, thank you very much indeed. And I have to say, I've been here throughout the day. A couple of people have said to me, why don't I take to the beam or the bars and have a go myself? Of course, it's that old school excuse. I can't. I've forgotten my gym kit. <laughs>